Amanda here from ScreenPeerMama.co.uk and today we are crafting on the hop. So I don't have a sample, I have this little box of chocolates, um, seahorses, <laughs> uh, that I picked up recently um, while shopping with my team member and friend Victoria. We often pick things up thinking, ooh, we'll make a project with that. <laughs> so I'm going to make a little, um, some kind of gift wrap for this. So, let me have a think. Um, as I say, I'm crafting on the hop, so one and a quarter. Right, so I've got a sheet of, this is the Bloom by Bloom, um, beautiful, beautiful paper. Now, I do. this is not my favourite, so that's going to be the inside. I am in love with this, that is going to be my outside. So, it is 6 by 12. So, we're going to start by scoring the bottom section here. Um, and this needs to be at least one and a quarter. So I'm going to have it that way. So I'm going to score my first score line at one and a quarter. Okay. Alright. And then it needs to be at least three, let's say four. So one and a quarter plus four is five and a quarter so I'm going to score it again at five and a quarter okay let me just check five and a quarter uh, I might just go to five and a half if I can five and a half yeah I'm just going to go to five and a half just so that I've got that little bit extra so that my little gift doesn't peek out over the top so that's on the long side so we've done one and a quarter and five and a half so far one and a quarter five and a half now because I'm making this up as I go along I will leave all the measurements over on my blog at scrimpymama.co.uk don't worry okay so Next, we need to do this section here, which wants to be one and a quarter again. Okay, with the narrow score line to the top. So, one and a quarter is one of the sides. Okay, one and a quarter. And then it wants to be at least three and three quarters. I'll do it four. So, one and a quarter and four. So, again, we're going to... One and a quarter plus four is five and a quarter again. Five and a quarter again. Okay, add one and a quarter, which is so that would be one and a five and a quarter. So that would be six and a six and a half. Yeah. Okay. And then I think on the end we just want, what have we got there? I think on the end I just need to score it at one inch, I think. Let me just check. So I've got four between there and there I've got five and a half. Okay, so from this score line here, I want that to go up to four. Okay, so we're going to ten and a half and we're scoring at ten and a half. Is that right? Uh, let me just check. Let me just check because I am making this up. I don't have my calculator. When I'm when I'm um creating um yeah, that's right, ten and a half. Sometimes when I'm creating it, I'll get a piece of paper and I will, no that's cutting, and I will jot down, um, I will jot it down so this end bit only needs to be about one. So I'll just go to one, so I'm just cutting that. So I've cut it down to 11 inches, so we've got 11 inches by 6. So we've got 11 inches by 6 and we've scored at one and a quarter. Okay, and then we've scored again at five and a quarter, and then we've scored at ten and a half. I think that's right. Let me just check. That not bad. It is. <laughs> right, so we'll fold and burnish all of those score lines. So I'm folding that small one in, 
and then that's going to reinforce the top there. Oh, my brain hurts now thinking thinking on the fly like that. <laughs> As it gets towards the end of the catalogue, I just have to create on the fly because I don't have enough of everything to um, recreate, you know, do samples and then recreate for a video. I'm starting to run short, but obviously I don't want to buy loads of extra DSP and things like that of the, you know, of, of all of them um, just now. I'm, I'm trying to use what I've got. So, that one's folding over because that's going to give us a bit of reinforcement at the top. Alright, so let me just fold that over. And then at the bottom here, we're just going to cut up the each of the score lines we're going to cut up to the first all right and here put on that right which let's just trim that not cut that terribly straight just readjust that and see which is my one and is that my so that's my side and that's my attaching one so I'm going to let me just check yeah so this is the smaller one so this is what I'm going to attach with so I'm going to use some tear tape if I can find the end there we go I'm going to use some tear tape I'm going to put it close to there and then just down to the score line and stop and put some on that side as well Okie doke. And that will remind me which side is which. I'll continue cutting my flaps. So we've got the centre one. And that's all of the flaps done. Okay, so that's going to attach there. And we just want to put some, let me just gently notch there so that it folds nicely. You can notch it all if you like. I don't think it's necessary on all of it. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold up that flap there and attach some tear tape to there and some tear tape to there. Okay, I think that will be enough. We shall see. Let me see. Fold all of those in. Yes. So you just need to tear tape on one of the larger flaps and on the side and the side is the smallest this is one inch and this is one and a quarter inch okay so now we can remove this tape quite simply and this should all just fold over um, and attach at the side like so so it'll fold flat like so if you want to store it flat until you need it Alrighty, and then we just fold those tab tabs in and fold that, fold the one with the tear tape in, remove our tear tape. Can you tell I'm making this up as I go? <laughs> there we go. Fold that in nicely. And attach that like so, and we've got our little our little paper box which just fits our chocolates in perfect. <laughs> absolutely perfect I wasn't sure that was going to work but it has right so now is the fun part and we're going to decorate it okay we're going to make it look super pretty so what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to tie some of this beautiful ribbon around it and this is the variegated ribbon and it is what are the colours is it petal pink it is petal pink so we're going to tie that around there like so okay and I'm going to bring it around the front and I'm going to tie it in a bow on the front here. Alright, so I'll just make sure I've got a long enough length. And then I will trim it off. Okay. This is beautiful ribbon. It's It really is very, very pretty. Okay, doke. So if I put my finger there. And hopefully we'll get a half decent bow. <laughs> it's quite forgiving is this ribbon. Um... You know, you, if you don't, get, if you're not brilliant at tying bows, 
this ribbon's perfect for you because I'm not either. Not without my, my trusty bow maker, but it does make the most, as you can see, perfect pretty bows. And then we're just going to trim that off to that side and trim that off to that side. You know, it's just pretty gift packaging, uh, super easy. Box making doesn't have to be difficult. So there we go, that will just hold our chocolate in. You could slide it over a bit more if you want. We're going to put a little sentiment on there because, you know, I'm never done. Um, what are we going to have? Is that going to be too big? I did want, yeah, I'm going to have that. Um, so let me just punch out. This is just hanging around on my desk from probably the last project that I made. And so I'm going to use it up, see if it fits, and it does. So there we go, smashing. And then I've got some white cardstock. I think I made the cards with this recently, the, the four cards. So here we go, prove that I do use up all of my scraps, because I do. Right, let me see if I can get a two inch circle out of that. I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp and I'm using Butterfly Gala. This has been switched back on. It's available but it's on low inventory so you need to be quick. Um, it is carrying over to the, to the new catalogue which is why, you know, I don't mind using it. And I'm going to use Hello Beautiful I think. Yeah. Hello Beautiful. Right here, I need a block. Good job my chair's on wheels and I can just wheel myself around my craft room because I, I do sometimes forget to bring things to the table um, and I can just fly off and get it. Right, so let's get this stamped up um, and I know that the it will fit there Okay, so that I can use up this scrap, get my two inch. Uh, my two inch circle punch and my starburst punch are very much my go to stamps at the moment. Um, I'm loving them because I know they layer up perfectly. And I've just left a little bit of space there. I've uh, done it so that I've, you know, the, the sentiment is not quite central because I'm going to put something up there in a minute. Okay, so let's layer that up on some dimensionals. If you don't want it on dimensional, you can just um, use wet glue. Not everybody wants everything standing out, but I just think it looks nicer. I'll layer that on there. I just love this Starburst punch. I think it's perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful every single time. Let me just zoom in ever so slightly so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Right, and I'm going to stick that on dimensionals as well. Okay. And then we can attach that to our little baggie. Okay. And put that just central there like so. Super pretty. Right, but I've not done. Never have. I'm going to add a butterfly so let me see um, I like this one but I only want the little butterfly I only want the little one you don't want the big one I don't think I do anyway I'm not sure yet let me just scoot for my butterfly punch which is gone well here we are I've just been organising my punches I've got a new rack for my punches and I am in love Right, so I'm going to punch them both out. I'm not sure if I'm going to use both yet, but I'll do them and punch them out because what I don't use now, I will use later. Absolutely, definitely. Okay, and I will just very quickly punch that out. Move that to one side. Let me see how much space we've got. Have we got room for them both? Of course we have. Of course we have. We've always got room for a butterfly. Okay, I'm just going to...
going to curve those wings ever so slightly. And then I'm going to layer those up. A little bit of glue. You can use glue dots if you want, but I don't want my butterfly to fall off. So I'm going to use glue. And just get it to there we go just hold it with my bone folder and pull those wings back while it dries it only doesn't take very long there we go and then I'm going to attach that to my punch out just on an angle there who said gift packaging has to be boring that's just a 99p a little tiny box of chocolate sweet treat and um, decorated up really really beautifully and let's just go that a little step further and add some crystals these are real genuine crystals all right they're not the rhinestones but it's the same we can pretend they're crystals can't we so let's add some some crystals. I think I need a new pack of these. We'll just one in the centre there. Genuine stamping up crystals. <laughs> All right, the rhinestones. And then we will have just one there. And we're good to go. And I think that is super, super pretty. I hope you like that. I hope you'll give it a try. Really, really easy, beautiful gift packaging. I'll leave all of the details and a lovely picture over on my blog at scrimpymummy.co.uk. Get that DSP used up. Thanks for watching.